Hi sisters and welcome back to my channel. How did I do? Hi guys, I'm Rachel and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you for subscribing. If you're looking, subscribe. Okay? Okay. I upload every Wednesday and Sunday. Like, comment and share. I really appreciate it and it really, really, really helps. So today I come to you with this Morphe and James Charles palette. It's my very first, very first review here on YouTube and I just had to do it. When I saw this palette, I got goosebumps. Trust and believe. This is James Charles. He is a very, very young and has such a large influence. He has over 20 million followers, both on um, combined on YouTube and Instagram. And I will be reviewing his palette. This intro is a little bit long because I did mess up on my intro. I thought I was recording and I wasn't, but I am going to roll with the punches. I kept it going just to show you that shit happens, the YouTube live, the YouTube problem. So please excuse me, but I will get into that more in the tutorial, but that's what happened. But I am going to continue. I did continue to uh, film this look as influencers are trying to be an influencer. Shit happens, but you know, failures are never really seen on social media. You only see the success story. So I choose to do this and continue that you will see the shit that happens sometime we are not perfect at least i am not perfect so i kept it going so that you can see i messed up i forgot to turn my 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 to, to turn uh, my mic on and that is what happened but i will still try to make it work and explain everything as i move forward because doing this is not easy i sat down here for a while and realized i wasn't recording it i was just not going to not do it do you know what i mean so please forgive me for that before and excuse the noises, I am very close to a highway and it's raining. So this is what <sighs> the palette looks like. It's a huge ass palette. This is the second time Morphe launched this palette. It's 39 colors for $39. You cannot go wrong with this palette. So it says to unleash your inner artist. This is what I did. It's unleashed. <laughs> so let's jump right into this tutorial. Now, <laughs> YouTube life, YouTube problems. So, oh my God. So I was recording, but my sound was off, you guys. It was off and I only recognized it was off until I got to this part of the look. I swear, so I'm like, I sat here already 10, 15 minutes doing this, I'm like, hell no i am not going to just discard it and start all over i put work into this like oh my you know what? god this is not going to waste you guys will understand i would also link the um my highlight my foundation routine on top is that little eye that you would see um so click that if you want to see how i did my bit i'm just going to explain what i did he did recommend to use an eyeshadow base with this primer as opposed to using concealer which is what we usually use to prime our eyes that is the only thing I do not like about that. I feel like you have to go out to get um, uh, an eyeshadow base to maybe get the pigments to perform to its best. I don't know. But I used my P. Lewis eyeshadow base right here. He also recommended that you can use the MAC paint pots um, as a base because that is what he uses to prime his eyes when he's using this palette. I'm just going to insert some clips while I explain what it is I did. So I used... I used this color, um, this orange color right here. The name of it is um, 518. I used this as my um, crease color. And I used, you're kidding, this red shade that I'm showing right now in my, in my uh, direct crease to blend these two together to get what I have right now. And I did say that the thing with, with colors and pigments that are, with shadows that are so pigmented is that they sort of lose their pigment the more you blend them. So you have to pack them, blend them, pack them, blend them. It takes a while to get it to be the way you want it, the way you want it. So just be mindful of that. But so far, I'm at this point with my, my look and I cut my crease because I want to do something with the yellow and purple and stuff in it as well. Because the theme of this palette is Unleash Your Inner Artist, which is what I am doing. I am unleashed. <laughs> so this is where I am at with the palette. And so far, it's performing pretty well. I haven't had any fallouts or any kickbacks in the shadows that I use so far. And personally, I am... I'm not bothered by fallouts from eyeshadows and stuff like that. Like, it doesn't bother me. 
some people are I am not so now I already cut my crease I am going to link um, how to cut a crease and my foundation base on the top is that little eye that you would see on top you can click that if you want to see a more in-depth um, tutorial about that now if I can only find that brush that I'm looking for one moment please found it this is a crown uh, medium size shadow brush and I'm going for this beautiful yellow right here and it is called B and I'm gonna pack this all over where I cut my crease let's see this oh shit my base just creased So I totally forgot he said to use a base and I use my concealer so let's see if I'm gonna get this to look yellow I totally forgot there we are gonna pack this on baby okay I see you I see you if anyone can tell me where that line came from Okay, I'm getting some follow to this one though, but it's okay. I see you flash like cop. Tell me where I got that from. <laughs> so maybe this would have performed better with a base, but I'm going with it because I already did this and this video just went left, south everywhere you can think of but we rolling let me zoom you in a little bit i'm a hustler i'm a i'm a hustler mm. i'm a hustler i'm a i'm a hustler mm. Mm. I'm not crazy about the yellow. I think I'm slightly, slightly disappointed in the yellow. Just a teeny tiny bit. So now I'm gonna reach for uh, the purple. Right chaw. Right chaw. The name of that is Escape. And I wanna put that close to the yellow, like right here. Oh boy. Damn. Oh. All right, guys, I'm really having to pack that purple on. I see that the pigment is not staying. Okay, let's see. Let's blend this out a little bit. All right. Um, oh yeah, it is not doing it for me. Hmm. Let's see. Let's so this see. is what I have right off now, and I must say that purple. It's just not keeping the pigment. I had to apply it so, so much times. Whenever I blend it off, it lost all the pigment. I just had to keep packing and blending, packing and blending. But I have heard that, I mean, that purples and certain colors are very difficult to create because of whatever it is. I am not that technical as yet when it comes to the formulation of shadows, but I have heard about purples and certain colors being the most difficult to create. So, that may be why that happened, but it really did stress me out, I have to say. Um, I am going to use this gel liner. Is it a gel liner? I think it's from LA Splash. It's white. This one adds a little something to the eye look. On my flat brush, and I'm going to apply this line right in the crease. Yeah. Just to add a little something to it like so and i do not like this liner too much it's so thick it's not smooth 
it's a plain choppy everything went wrong with this tutorial if you ask me Also, there you have it. So everything stressed me out today. Everything stressed me out today. I hate this gel liner. It is not smooth. This is my first time using it. I had it a while now. I hate it. I'm just going to go over that white line with some of this white shadow from this palette. And I'm looking at this purple and it still has skip lines and stuff like that. But I'm like, you know what? I'm going to keep it moving. I must say I think it's important as to the brushes that you use uh, for this palette. I must say that. I am going to use this color named Ring Light right here to pop a little bit of that in my on my brow bones for a little highlight. Right here. I'm also going to apply some of this in my inner corner right here. The usual, the usual places that I highlight. I am going in with the pink, this very bright pink. I'm going in with this vibrant pink and I think I'm going to use this blue as well in my bottom lashes. And I have to mention that for me to get the, black, the, the purple to even stay just a, a tad bit, I had to just mix a little bit of black in it to get it to stay because it was just stressing me out. Now I'm going to go in with my Remel Beige liner because I do not want black in my waterlines today. So we're doing this color. And now I'm going to reach for green. This is going to act as a base for me because I'm going to reach for this dark green right here. And the name is Daddy. And pack that over that um, color that we just, that beige eyeliner. complete the look I'm just going to soak my face in some setting spray my Maybelline um, molten gold highlights and apply this to the tops of my cheeks like so my chin my, over my brows and my cupid's bow literally this color right here and just tap that over wow that is beautiful oh wow this is something to my highlights. Mm, it's pretty. Woo! Go crazy! 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 Okay. Okay, so I did my, my mascara so it could dry a bit before I apply my lashes. And I'm going in with this Remel uh, Long Lasting Lip Liner in Cafe. I want a lip that's not too nude, not too brown. Sort of going with my color pop lippy stick and crack me up over that. Something lighter to the center of my lips. I'm using my e.l.f. lip lacquer in natural, just to the center because it's lighter, just to create a nice ombre and contrast. I love this so I'm gonna pop my lashes on and be right back with my final thoughts on this palette okay so now for my final thoughts on the James Charles and Morphe palette let me show you it one more time 
this is what it looks like it is beautiful now I have to say I am a tad bit disappointed with the palette um, as opposed to how hard I have to work to get the pigment the shadows to stay pigmented and things like that but like I said I do not know the nitty-gritty of how shadows are created as yet so I've heard in the past that certain colors do take a lot of work and whatever the case is I am not technical with the shadows so I personally had trouble in applying the purple especially I had to end up mixing the purple with some black to get it to stay on my lids the pink the yellow everything I really had to press them on to get them to stay but the pigment was there it wasn't an issue with the pigment it is very pigmented it's just that it just wasn't staying and that is what happens um, in my experience with shadows when they're so pigmented after you blend them they lose their pigment so this palette for me, I would recommend the palette. I feel like it's perfect. Um, it's perfect. It will help you to unleash your inner artist. And I would recommend it for beginners because it will give. it's a way for you to practice and build up on your skills as it applies to shadows and things like that. And if you are not so into color, like I'm a person who is not into color like that, so it's going to force me to play with colors some more. And even if you're not into colors like that, there are so much uh, other sh um, shadows that you can use to create nice nice simple everyday looks as well so i think it's perfect for anyone who's just beginning in makeup in my opinion because of the way the colors are arranged you can use color you can be neutral and natural if you feel like i i would recommend the palette because of that and it is very inexpensive you get 39 shades for 39 dollars like you cannot go wrong with a palette like that if you're interested in the palette look at james charles review on his palette he, he breaks it down better for you to understand but i will recommend this palette i specifically really love this shade um ring light it's it's pretty this color right here it's a nice highlight shade i love it it's one of my favorite colors so far from the palette and i love the names of the shadows it's just it's perfect so if you're not following james charles and you're in new in makeup you need to he is great he will teach you he will help you just what we are all here for he is amazing i hope to one day meet him um tag him <laughs> let him know i want to meet him so yeah so that's my final thoughts on the shadows like would i recommend it of course i will i'm a very big fan of morphe shadows morphe is very inexpensive and the quality is just like up to par and i don't feel like you have to spend a lot to get good quality shadows these days and i love what makeup brands are doing that it's affordable across the board i would 1000 percent recommend it for anyone i i am gonna play with these colors some more so that is my final thoughts and i do feel like you need to pay attention to your brushes your brushes do play a big part in this shadow application as i was doing it i realized that um he did come up with a brush set as well so yeah so that's my only con i just do not like that you have to have a base a specific base for this palette and i think that's what messed up my uh my yellow liner my yellow shadows because I forgot and I went in and used a, um, um, a concealer instead of my base with it. So maybe that's what happened. I feel like it gave me trouble. I do not know. I would try it again. But um, yeah, so that's it. I would really, really recommend this. I love the way my look turned out. So get creative. Unleash your inner artist. Work with the shadows. Play with them. Do whatever. It washes off. So um, also I want to apply apologize for my intro if you made it to this outro that's what happens i did this because i want you to see that we mess up uh, influencers mess up um things are not always perfect shit happens and i just roll with the punches that's what i did so i apologize for it anyway i apologize for the noises i'm very close to the highway it's raining everything went left for me with this video and that is why this outro is so damn long um so thank you so much for watching my base my foundation routine i will link those up it's the eye that you would see um i will leave everything i use in my description box i did mention this foundation i had to mention it because they are amazing it's the elegal pro matte foundation it's amazing i will you will be seeing more of it in my tutorials um so yeah so thank you so much for watching and um see you again soon bye